you win, you get lead. If you lose, you get guide. Swami Vivekananda, one of the greatest spiritual leader, once said, education is not the amount of information that we put into your mind and runs through your they are undigested state all your life. You must have man making, life building, character making, and assimilation of ideas. If you have assimilated five ideas and made them your life and character, then you have more education than any man. Who has got by heart for library? Hello everybody! I'm my buddy! Where does my start zone? Hope you all are doing good! Today I'm here to speak about one of the greatest spiritual masters of India! Sri Swami Vivekananda. We get called Swami Vivekananda, the powerhouse of energy, spirituality, rhythm, power, self confidence, and energy of thoughts. Not only India, but the whole world gets energy from him. Swami Vivekananda sold the seeds of self-eminent, self-confidence, self-respect and independence in the minds of people of India. He taught people of India love their nation. Swami Vivekananda's real name was Narendra Dutta. He was born on 12 January 1863 in Calcutta. His father, Vishwanathatta, was at Achille, Calcutta High Court. He was from a high educated family and was a gifted child with high thinking, intelligent mind, and strong willpower. His mother, Bhuvaneshwari Devi was a devout housewife. His mother played an important role in shaping his thinking and personality. From a very early age, he used to meditate for a long time. Swami Vivekananda was a genius man who had the full knowledge of Veda. His precious knowledge proved him to be the greatest man of history of India. We are talking about Swami Vivekananda's life. We don't mention about his guru, Sri Ramakrishna Paramahans. Then it is not done. Ramakrishna Paramahans was an unmatched guru as Swami Vivekananda was the wonderful disciple. This pair was a unique match and it makes so 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 special. In the era, Swami Vivekananda was it his life. Big India once fled of Britishers at that time. He addressed the young generation of India by saying that arise awake and stop not until God is achieved. In the year 1893, when the world's first parliament of religious was held in Chicago. At that time, Swami Vivekananda gave a wonderful speech starting with the words as brothers and sisters of America. It surprised the whole world. 
and they love to know that seven thousand people listening to this page at that time stood up a pre applause of about two minutes and also compliments from Vivekananda. Swami Vivekananda devoted his whole life for people. Live real high life. Grew up for people. And raised the people with positive energy. Thus, he said goodbye to the world at the very early age of 39 on 4th July 1902. But, but the great man never died because their thoughts never died. Your thoughts always live in life. Swami Vivekananda is a youth of today. He is present idol for us. An example to this, this is that today is India. His birth anniversary is celebrated National Youth Day. At last, I would like to salute. And his thoughts, may his thoughts always remain immortal even after our next hundred generations. Jai Hind! Hope you like this information. Thank you, thank you for watching. And remember, if you are happy, healthy, then rise up. Bye! Do you like my